Welcome everyone to the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for January 2019. This is my snapshot version. I am playing under 18W50A, which at the time of recording is the latest snapshot for 1.14. This particular challenge involves me traveling to three different villages, so we'll have a good opportunity to have a look at various different villages that are generated under the new rules. This is one of the reasons why I decided that even though it seemed rather strange to want to do a snapshot version of this one, in the end I decided to for two reasons. One, because the potential to see different villages and the second reason I've decided to do so is because there is no base race for January. Ed is usually not able to do one for January since he's busy in December and can't prepare one. Therefore, I will then take this time to to this time slot I usually have for base race and instead do this second version of the MHC. I do have a mainstream one, be one that's being done under the latest official version. And that's the one that I am posting on Mondays and Wednesdays, and uh, Mondays and Fridays, the traditional MHC day. I am posting this one on the day after that, on Tuesdays and Saturdays, which is the day which I normally reserve for my base race. Now there are four villages, so I'd like to... There are three villages that are named within it itself, but I did see a fourth one when I was prepping my official one, so I think I'm going to do the same and visit all four of those. Of course, the main course in here is to find and tame a horse. Ooh, an apple. That's a good start. Good. Alright, that gives us some, well, I might as well replant that and head out now. I have here the Betty's. Oh, you have got to be kidding. To be kidding. Here we are right at the opening and I have found horses. Now if you had seen the official version you know I very definitely did not find horses on the first day so that's gonna be quite interesting. Now of course I am going to be needing some saddles here. I noted the coordinates actually pretty close to spawn and spawn is pretty close to zero zero. But I am going to be needing a... Hmm, actually, let me head out into the right direction. I got distracted by the horses. I need to head out at 216. So 200 would be out in this direction. But I will come back here for the horses. But first, I'm going to be needing a saddle before I could go about riding one. So I'll leave those horses be, just noting where they're at, and do that. Now I'm wondering, did I have horses at that exact location in the official? No, I did not. F I did not check that location when I was searching for horses in the other one. So that's the reason why I saw that so funny. Look at all the trouble I went, looking all over the place, and boom, they are right at the start. But I don't know if the passive mob spawns are the same in there. Now, let's see. The village should be down in this direction. And in fact, that looks like a... Is that a yes, that is a Savannah village right up here. This is Riverton. And most definitely a Savannah Village in here. Mm. Alright. Boy, 
a house like that in the in last months would have been quite handy. But of course, I had a desert village, not a Savannah village. And all right, we see we've got a crafting table that could come in handy. A lot handier things here than the a saddle! Yay! All right. Well, that wasn't too difficult. That means that I can go and tame myself a horse. All right. I think we have a, a lot of brewing stands. Too bad I don't have any any blaze powder. Hmm. Now, of course, I'm not allowed to use the meat. Or actually, I'm not allowed to eat the meat. Since it's something found in a chest, I could technically use it to... Okay, there's a smoker there. Not that I'll be able to smoke anything. With, well, I guess if I caught some fish, I could use it to smoke fish. But I certainly won't be able to use it to smoke the meat. But I could possibly trade some of that meat to the butcher, though it's technically it probably belongs to the butcher. So that would be rather rude to do that. Besides, I think he wants a lot more than that. I was going to be looking for a leather worker to see. Actually, I think I already checked that one, right? Yeah. I was thinking of checking a leather worker to see if I could buy one a cat. Hello. Yeah, hey, ringy wakey wake ooh, melons. That could be a decent food source. Yeah, alright. So I have a temporary source of food at least. Now I notice here I don't think there's a single farm in this place. We've got a farmer there, but where where's the actual Farm. Oh, the fields. Oh, here are the fields. Of course, I probably saw them earlier and it just didn't register. How's the sun doing? All right. I'm not going to go and tame the horse right away. I will save that tomorrow. But what I do need to do... Now, I know that there's a crafting table that we saw earlier, but I'd probably best make one my own because I just don't want to steal theirs. I try not to be completely rude to the villagers, only partially rude. Uh, let's see. How about if I just start with a wooden pickaxe? Good. Grab this. find myself a place to do some mining during the night and then I could yeah I think that's a nice area to do that right to there I don't want to be too close to the villages because if I'm too close to the villages they'll be prone to getting attacked and I don't like making villages prone to attack yeah, hi there. Now, let's see. Something here. Well, I don't have much yet that I could do with that. No, let's just... Do this. Start our way down. And then hopefully we could find ourself, ourselves a little bit of coal because that's the main thing that I'd be wanting at this point at this stage if I don't then there's always charcoal because charcoal is always an, a reasonable substitute to have in that case at least until I get some real coal uh, how am I doing right now okay we are getting pretty close to when it's gonna be turning night so let me What do I need? I'm going to be needing. Oh, I'm going to be needing a little bit more of 
a little bit more stone, I think, before I'm going to be able to do anything about that. Because I don't want to make things too dark for you. It's not yet. Yep, all right. We'll put this here. We can make ourselves a little furnace. Good. Let's make ourselves some charcoal. One, two, three, four. Oh, I had two pieces of coal. Duh! <sighs> silly, silly pine leaf. There you go. That's right. Let's might as well use one of those pieces of coal to make our first torches. So we can have some light. Anyway, we have, I think, things are going to be a little bit easier than in the official version because Riverton did not have a saddle that I recall. And if those horses existed, I completely missed them. Therefore, an easier time, I think, overall. Now, it's good to see that Batty's Coordinates Data Pack works in 1.14. That was one of the things I wanted to experiment with also, because this is my first MHC where I've been using this thing. And thanks to Batty for putting it together. He had he did have some help with that. He had a version that he had seen that he, he adapted that to be more useful and he got a little help from Ed Case from the mod Mob Cave in order to find out how you could get started and being able to get it in so that you could work with it in hardcore because if you can't use it in hardcore then you won't be able to use it in the MHC since in the MHC you are supposed to be running under hardcore mode but because one of the things that you had was that very often with mods mods would not transfer very well from one version to version, but it looks like data packs, because they're simpler and they're using a set of commands, maybe limited set of commands that are, that are specified by Mojang, it looks like that they work pretty well. Let's see here. That they do work under the going up from a version unless there's some major 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 change in here so it is good to see that something like this that there is an advantage to using a data pack instead of a mod of course mods are more complicated to make for one thing but it looks like they more easily transfer from version to version now I have to admit I avoid mods as much as possible and so being able to see coordinates that is just such a nice thing and this baddies, a baddies coordinate system is one of those traditions in the MHC that when they s talk about the rules and they put in the rules, there's no mods except for Optifine and baddies is pretty much how they usually worded it. So that you are following the rules of the MHC if you do use those things. I know it's not technically a mod. It's a little bit simpler than that, but... I think within the spirit of what the rule is that you can have a coordinate pack in your system I don't think there's any trouble with using this now what do we have here so we have nothing left in there and I have not yet found any coal other than what I've got from the village here we go of course tomorrow I'm going to be taming the horse and my highlight, my main thing to do would be that and seeing how checking out the paces of the horse. Maybe I should, between episodes, double check to make sure I understand all the ins and outs of that. Now, I have tamed horses before. You could just keep on trying on to it. But I think there are ways to speed it up by feeding the horses certain things. I'm wondering if, if apples, I think, will be one of the items to try 
and there he goes. Uh, let's go around it. Let's see it. Okay, I'll do a couple more like this, then I'll just go straight after that. I was just hoping I could. I'm not exactly using the most efficient system right efficient system right now, so let's just go straight here, and maybe I could eventually find some coal because that's the main thing I'm after right now is to get some coal. I'm not looking for a permanent base here or anything like that. And when I do that, maybe I'll be more worried about why I get it. Now, I'm also hoping, though, to find some iron, because iron would be a nice thing to have. At least I can make stone tools, because I'm getting plenty of cobblestone out of all this. And I do still have that savanna out there. It's not like last month, where we weren't allowed to harvest any wood. And you, and in some cases, you were, oh, there's my first coal. And of course, I run out just at that point. Where we weren't allowed to harvest any iron, What? I mean, any trees. So what we had to do then was to get some, obviously get sticks from the local desert, from the bushes, and harvest wood from ships and the like and I wasn't always successful on that score if you s saw my Ujra War version of this thing where I was in the latest snapshot declaring war on the Illagers and all that stuff and no they drowned just wouldn't let me get any wood from any of the ships Someone suggested that maybe I should be gone with an iron axe once I had an iron axe, which wasn't all that long because I did find such things. But once I got to the village, I spent all my time in the villages r and doing going after pillagers and stuff like that and not worrying about things like iron and the like. Okay, I mean, about harvesting wood and the like. So I went the entire series without using any wood. Alright, that was actually pretty good up there. Good. Now, what I can do with this is another matter. I will at least... I'll go get rid of the charcoal now that I've got some wood in there. I hear the sheep up there. Not, not that I could do too much with sheep until I have shears, because I'm not allowed to kill the sheep. This is the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. Not allowed to harm passive mobs. And that's one of the rules that we've got in there. Not allowed to harm passive mobs. Not allowed to eat any meat even if we get the get the meat from means other than doing that. Now we could use meat for other purposes such as earlier I was talking about perhaps maybe selling it to a butcher or something like that. If it's got through means other than by killing the passive mob. And likewise, I could possibly, if I found a wolf, I could try taming... Actually, no, you need bones to tame a wolf. The meat is used in order to restore its health or, or get to mate or something or things like that. Now, it would be nice if we had some raw fish because if we had some of that then I could have tried to tame one of the cats because there were a couple of cats I noticed out. I did see one cat at the village at least. That's one of the things that you have in 1.14 is that you will have stray cats in the village that you could tame. There you go. Hmm. I think we are getting pretty close to the end of this episode. So let us head out here. Yep, that looks like it's pretty close to the end. It still says day zero though, but that's not going to be for too much longer. But that is the end of our... F oh yeah, there it is, day one. That's the end of our first episode. We'll see you next time for the next episode of the Minecraft Hardware Challenge for January 2019.